Hi, and welcome to section two, multi-threading implementation on the processor and OS. The foundation of any multi-threaded application is formed by the implementation of the required features by the hardware of the processor, as well as by the way features are translated into an API for use for applications by the operating system. In this section, we'll take a look at processes, threads, and the stack. We'll define multi-threading and see mutual exclusion implementations. Now we move on to the first video, defining processes, threads, and the stack. In this video, we are going to take a look at how operating systems changed to use evolved hardware features. Essentially, to the operating system, a process consists of one or more threads. Each thread process needs its own state and variables. One would regard this with hierarchical configuration, with the OS as the foundation, providing support for the running of user processes. Each of these processes then consists of one or more threads. Communication between these processes is handled by Interprocess Communication, IPC, which is provided by the operating system. In a graphical view, it looks like this. While IPC allows processes to communicate with each other, threads can communicate with other threads within the process in a variety of ways. An application is loaded from binary data in a specific executable format such as, for example, executable and linkable format which is generally used on Linux and many other operating systems. With ELF binaries, these sections should always be present. The .bss section is essentially located in uninitialized memory, including empty arrays which thus do not take up any space in the binary, as it makes no sense to store rows of pure zeros in the executable. Similarly, there is a .data section with initialized data. This contains global tables, variables and the like. Finally, the .ro data section is like .data, but it is, as the name suggests, read-only. It contains things such as hard-coded strings. In the .txt section, we find the actual application instructions which will be executed by the processor. The whole of this will get loaded by the operating system, thus creating a process. The layout of such a process looks like this. This is what a process looks like when launched from an ELF format binary though the final format in memory is roughly the same in basically any OS, including for a Windows process launch from a PE format binary. Each of the sections in this binary are loaded into their respective sections, with the BSS section allocated to the specific size. The .txt section is loaded along with the other sections, and its initial instruction is executed once this is done, which starts the process. In an operating system, a process consists of a block of memory addresses, the size of which is constant and limited by the size of its memory pointers. For a 32-bit OS, this would limit this block to 4 gigabytes. Within this virtual memory space, the OS allocates a basic stack and heap, both of which can grow until all memory addresses have been exhausted and further attempts by the process to allocate more memory will be denied. The stack, together with the CPU registers, defines a task. This stack consists of stack frames, each of which defines the variables, parameters, data, and instructions for that particular instance of the task execution. Of note is that although the stack and stack frames are primarily a software concept, it is an essential feature of any modern OS with hardware support in many CPU instruction sets. Graphically, it can be visualized in this manner. The SP points to the top of the stack with another extended base pointer for x86. Each frame contains a reference to the preceding frame, call a return address, as set by the OS. When using a debugger on one's C++ application, it is basically what one sees when requesting the backtrack, the individual frames of the stack showing the initial stack frame leading up to the current frame. Here, one can examine each individual frame's details. That's all about processes and threads.